What are grubs? Grubs are the larval stage of a beetle. Japanese beetles are the most recognizable, but not the most damaging grubs. Masked chafer and European chafer grubs also cause damage. Grubs start off as eggs in your soil in the late summer. The eggs are more likely to survive if you water your lawn regularly or if we have a wet late summer or early fall. Later in the fall, grubs start to feed voraciously and will actually chew off the roots and kill your lawn. As temperatures cool, grubs will go down further in the soil and spend the winter hibernating a foot or so below ground. When the soil begins to warm in the spring, the grubs resurface and eventually turn into beetles. The beetles spend their summer parting it up, eating your plants, and laying eggs. The beetles eventually die, but they leave behind a lot of eggs to start the cycle again next year. So why do you have grubs? All lawns have some grubs. In fact, a good healthy lawn can withstand up to six grubs per square foot. That means if your lawn is average size, say 5,000 square feet, it can withstand 30,000 grubs without showing much damage. If your grass doesn't have a healthy root system though, or is shallowly rooted like bank grass is, it can't withstand that many grubs. So your lawn will be more prone to grub damage if you water your lawn in the late summer. So you really shouldn't water it daily. You should plant grass types like turf type tall fescue that has deep roots and doesn't need frequent watering so that you can water once a week and let those eggs dry out on the surface of your soil so they won't hatch and become grubs. So don't water daily. Your lawn is also more susceptible to grubs if it has a lot of thatch. Believe it or not, the beetles that become grubs can actually smell the anaerobic scent that your lawn gives off if it's got a lot of thatch. So what can you do to prevent grub damage? The trick for minimizing grub damage is to plant tough grasses and do everything you can to help them build a good root system. Using beneficial nematodes in the fall can kill up to 65% of your grubs, which is usually plenty to keep them from doing any damage. Sometimes the real damage is actually done by skunks or raccoons who are peeling up the lawn in search of grubs. You can prevent this with a variety of animal repellents available on our website. So what can you do about grub damage? If your lawn has been damaged by grubs, the best thing to do is replace the divots or torn up pieces of grass as quickly as possible and start watering them as much as possible. This should help the grass get rerooted. It's kind of like planting sod. If that doesn't work, the lawn may need to be reseeded. Although that may sound like a pain, the bright side is that you'll be able to start with better grasses that will make your life easier. Sometimes animals tear up the lawn in a perfect way, like a mini rototiller, and allow you to just broadcast seed right on top of the bare dirt that will sprout and fill in the dead areas.